Alright, welcome back, folks. So let's play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. This is the mysterious JG. And, um, we are, uh, as you probably have gathered by this point, trying to conquer China. We're trying to conquer China in the name of Virtue, Justice, and Liu Banus. And, uh, we're trying to support our local Han. Now, this game, we haven't really come across the curse of the Han, because Liu Bei is supporting the Han, and temper uh, technically, Emperor Jian is still alive. Cao Cao hasn't done him in or anything. I don't know how you go about executing the Emperor in this game if you really want to. Uh, you have to rule a lot of cities before you can, you know, overthrow the Emperor. But it's my turn to act, so let's uh, stop talking and start talking. Now, I realize that although I saved up a lot of technique points to get uh, military reform, I probably should have considered Adept March. Because I'm getting ready to march through um, Ma Tang's lands, and that's going to kill a lot of my troops. Uh, going through those plank way or whatever it is, mountain path. Um, really, that's most important in Western China, and we've just about conquered Western China, so it's kind of it was our last chance for Adept March to be worth our time, and uh, we've blown it. But it's not getting it. But um. We've got military reform. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? We do have that at March. Don't I? Hold on. I'm confused. Yeah, that at March is like a prerequisite for military reform, isn't it? So I have to have it. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I've got that at March. What does that at March do? Use shallows, shortcut, zero damage on plankway. Oh, you know, I'm thinking you lose uh, troops on those mountain paths no matter what techniques you have. Maybe Adept March doesn't save troops on the mountain paths. But either way, okay, never mind. I was thinking, hey, maybe I didn't plan my techniques out properly, but no, I, I wasn't making sense there. I couldn't have uh, developed the techniques that I'm talking about without, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, what do you say we have, uh, you guys don't have the gold to build another tower. I was thinking about having them go harass Juan, not necessarily take the city, but just destroy some of the facilities. But now that I think about it, yeah, they need to have enough gold to actually do some building while they're out there. Unless I just decide I want to attack Juan with Shang Yong while I'm attacking, uh, Han Zhong with, uh, Jitong. Also, got to come up with some kind of good, like, confusion Chinese moral reasoning to attack Ma Tang. I decided that I'm attacking Liu. I attacked and defeated Liu Kong because he didn't show the proper ritual mourning respect for the death of Liu Biao. Uh, and wait, you know, Cao Cao, that's gonna be easy. I mean, I I couldn't tell you. Uh, if I don't tell you in the next uh, ten videos or so, or maybe I'll wait till I'm taking Cao Cao down. He's his head is on the on the plank and the executioner's axe about to fall. Let me tell you about the time that this guy took the emperor out hunting. And that's truly when he proved his seditious intent towards the empire. But, um, for right now, that martial music is still playing. And, like, you know... Stupid freaking embers that I don't really want to have around, but they left there. Well, I suppose I might as well keep them. What can we develop in this city? In this city? JG Mysteries, working with Liu Bei and some other dude. We pro should probably have a barracks going, although, you know, I want to have a shipyard going pretty soon, because this is going to be a city that's going to mass-produce ships. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to be Ship Central. Let's get a shipyard... Well, it's tempting to put it right by the water, but actually... You know what, I should put my barracks here, so that even if Cao Cao's navy somehow overwhelms me, I'll still be able to draft troops to fight them. So let's put the shipyard near the shore. And then let's work on getting a barracks going, like I said. And then we need to work on getting a nice uh, workshop for siege weapons. And last but not least, we'll build a stable. Pieces of free land. I've only got one, two facilities I haven't built, so I can build another of something. I can build two barracks. 
because, uh, let me see. From my placement of the mint in the farms, is there anything? That's a farm. That's a m farm. Okay. I'm gonna have five markets around that mint, five farms around that grain area. Yeah, I'm gonna have room for two barracks. Cool. Well, let's not build another barracks yet. We'll have plenty of time to... We might not even get to take much advantage of it, but we should have time to build a double, uh, you know, recruit twice on each turn if we really, really want to. Later on. Later on. <laughs> Pangtong City, USA. Pangtong City, USA needs to consider launching an attack on this city right here. Let's send Pangtong City, USA's finest unit over there. Pangtong City's finest unit. Uh, let's see, what what is Pangtong's uh, navy? He's got a B in navy, which is pretty good actually. Pangtong might be one of my top naval dudes. I don't really have a lot of A's or S's. B's not actually good at all. But I just don't have very few officers have good score in navy. ship that I can bring with? No, I don't have any vessels. Oh well, let's send them on the attack anyway. Yeah, war glory to Pang Tong, motherfuckers! Also be able to like incinerate and stuff. That's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> and eventually, I'm gonna be able to send like loads of dudes over there with like uh, just just have a big standing force of soldiers in that port. That'll be kind of fun. Uh, but anyway. You've already got like 65,000 troops. I think you're doing all right. But if I want to get two cities involved in this attack, I really need to build up my strength in here. Which I've done pretty damn well, I must say. But, uh... Shinsai! Bring the Elementa! Show you! The idea will be that I can send an attack force out of here and not fear that the city will fall while they're away. Plenty of spears because uh, I'm going to be going up against Ma Tang. All right, so that seemed good. I want to get a shipyard going here as soon as possible because now that I've put uh, Chengdu and whatever other city, I think uh, Yunnan both had shipyards, but they're going to be under computer control, so I can't really be sure that they're going to build me ships like I want them to. I'd have to manually take control of them if I wanted them to be working all the time on ships. This is a District 3 city, so... Hey, see, and they're already got, uh... <laughs> He's already, uh... sending out some go of food, and, uh... That's all that he's sending. He's just got a food shipment. Bound presumably for Jiangling. It's really tempting to betray Sun Quan just so I can have this port and my map will look nicer, but no, no, I'm not gonna do that. We're all good friends, me and Sun Quan. We're really close. He's uh actually, although I had to give him a lot of gold to get him to, to sort of look upon me favorably, he's given me a lot less reason to be angry than Ma Tang has over the years, so... And this game has been going on in game terms for years, folks. Chicago Yuan's unit just destroyed something something. Something something... It'd be really nice if at some point Zhao Yun could defeat Ma Chao, since that's the guy who captured Zhao Yun. But, uh, I don't know that I'm going to get that opportunity. Oh, 
Oh, and they're building a, a band platform on Jiangling territory? Oh, Jiangling is the port. No. Jiangling is the city here. They're building facilities on my territory. Well, we are allied, but... I don't think normally it would be cool if we go around building towers on their land. Of course, if I did, I believe they might be automatically defeated if we stopped being allies or something stupid like that, so... The same way that when my troops marched onto their territory and then the alliance ended, suddenly they became confused, even though Liu Bei, their freaking leader of my empire, was with them. Eh, what can you do? Alright guys, no time for uh, messing around here, we need to get going on uh, facilities. I want this place developed fully. You guys are going to take forever to develop a barracks, but uh, yeah, that's actually kind of stupid to make you guys do it. Let's, uh, let's drill the troops instead. At some point, I've just got to come up with an excuse to attack Ma Tang. Let me think here. Now, okay, now he attacked Zhao. He, atta he attacked and captured Zhao Yun while fighting for Han Zhong. And Liu Bei played nice and admitted that it was so. Oh, you know, it was just a mistake. And these things will happen when armies are in the field. Please release our prison. Please release your prisoner, and amnesty can be restored. But now Liu Bei has built up his empire, and Liu Bei has got to send a messenger to Ma Tang and say. In our fight against Cao Cao, unity is important. I believe that it would be beneficial to the Empire were you to kneel before me and accept service as one of my officers. You will be shown the highest respect and given governorship over your province. I can even make it a fucking district and have you in charge of it. And that way, together, with unity and with no question as to who is the sovereign lord of this land, we will be able to take Zhu Chang, rescue the Emperor, restore the Han, Please consider this. It will be a great boon to the people of the land. Yes, I think that's something like that. That's what my proposal is going to be. When I send a diplomatic mission to uh, ask for his surrender, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. So no one can carry this out? Come on, surely... Surely Pancakes Guy. I'll send Pancakes Guy. There's no chance of this working, you say? It'll only take ten days to try. So let's do it. Let's see if we can get him to surrender. Ma Tang has little choice but to surrender, says Ma uh, Pancakes Guy. Pancakes Guy, I'm counting on you. If somehow you fail to convince this guy to surrender, we're going to have to go to war. And it's going to be your fault, Pancakes Guy. Let it lie on your head. Let's, uh, maybe I should wait for uh, veteran troops to kick. Yeah, I should have waited for military reform to finish researching, actually. Oh, well. I'm really going through the gold. Luckily, I've got, like, almost 12 grand in this city. In the city. Much pity. No one's there to help you when you fall. Okay. <laughs> Stupid literally. If you don't know what that's from, folks, then clearly you haven't watched all 80 something videos of the Warriors. So shame on you. Shame on you. Alright. It's like every so often I hear someone saying something like, um, Warrior! And not warriors come out to play, and I'm like, wait a minute, what have you been watching, buddy? Sorry. It's a great LP, folks. I really enjoyed it, but it is like 80-something videos long. I can understand how not everybody can devote hours and hours of their lives to watching the Warriors. But, of course, you all should. Now, moving on along. Oh, yeah, and uh, another LP of mine that should have influenced this, uh, I really, 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 really meant, and I just forgot to make a uh, created a uh, created character of uh, Great Khan. Killer Khan. K 
Killer Khan was going to be like a created officer. I would have dropped her off here near Mongolia. She probably would have ended up serving Ma Tang, which would have been like would have been fun to have her as like an enemy and a, later a friend. I probably would have dropped the Black Belt Demon in somewhere, but um, no. The important thing was to drop in Killer Khan. That would have been awesome, and I, I totally blew that opportunity. So sad. All right, you guys continue your march towards victory. Sun Wukong has successfully employed Tsai He. Oh, I have the honor of joining Liu Bei's army. A relations with someone may have dropped. I forget whether he was a prisoner or not. Ah, to you, Liu Bei's army. You must be tired after your long journey. Now, my good, good friend, whom I trust implicitly, we have been allies and friends for years, fighting the good fight against Cao Cao. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? And now I know the fold is e This is the message from Liu Bei. Come into the fold of Liu Bei's army. What? Are you telling us to surrender to Liu Bei's army? We can hardly be expected to capitulate to your force. Please leave. What a pity. In that case, if you'll excuse me. And our diplomacy should take a pretty serious hit here. Oh, no, it wasn't affected. Apparently, we can just demand to surrender all day long, and he doesn't make him angry at all. Well. That's nice. So that's over and done with now. We don't have to worry about, uh... We gave him an opportunity to join the fold, folks. We gave him an opportunity to... We went to him and we said, Ma Tang, years ago, the Emperor smuggled a secret decree away from Cao Cao's guards by hiding it in the lining of a silk robe he gave to one of his officials. Since that time, the edict was... Cir was circulated amongst loyal servants of the Han, including several of Cao Cao's domestic officers, yourself, your lordship Ma Tang, and Zhuan De, known also as Liu Bei. While Liu Bei and Ma Tang have been able to escape Cao Cao's influence and build up their own forces, the officers who assigned it and tried to work from Cao Cao against Cao Cao from within have been discovered and executed. Their clans exterminated. Cao Cao's crimes, as we all know, stack up to the heavens. But now, the last two members of this sacred oath to save the Emperor's life and restore the Han are yourself, Ma Tang, and Lord Liu Bei. Why not work together to exterminate Cao Cao, to avenge the clans of those he wrongly murdered, and to restore the dignity of Emperor Jian, so that he can continue to cause the sun to rise and the rain to fall, to bring prosperity to the land of the common folk. Yet Ma Tang and his pride attacked Liu Bei's forces, captured his finest generals. He launches half-hearted attacks against Cao Cao, maintaining the in image of being a servant of the Han while he secretly consolidates his power and rules over the northwestern territories as a tyrant. This must end Ma Tang. You will be given the chance to redeem yourself as a servant of Liu Bei, only if you surrender before it is too late. Regret is pointless. Do not allow indecision to lead you to this regret. We beg your humble consideration. All right. That being said, let's send Zhuge Liang over there to tell them that their uh, alliance is off and it's time for him to get fucked up by the forces of Liu Bei. We're not, not, yeah, relations are already poor with them, so, uh, let's just, uh, end it. Send over He Yan. I don't know why he's going instead of Zhuge Liang, who I meant to send, but, you know, whatever. I should have made, um, I was gonna make somebody, no, no, we don't want super officers out here. You guys, uh, take a break. I just want to build up some, uh, towers is all. All I'm doing is replacing that tower that got taken down. I'm not launching a major offensive with this group. I believe it was here. Yeah. They've got plenty of time. If I launch a major attack out of Zhitong, they've got all this curving around to do. I can, after they've gone a few turns, Shang, Shang Yong can attack from the other side. And that way, 
They'll hit Hang Zhong at about the same time and completely overwhelm Ma Tang. Either city could overwhelm Ma Tang, but it'd be nice to have them both involved. So, yep. I think I did a halfway decent job of coming up with a reason to attack Ma Tang. I mean, not doing his best to fulfill the Emperor's secret decree? That's a pretty serious offense right there. That's Lay's Majesty, assuming I'm pronouncing that term right. I never know how to pronounce terms that are like French. Alright. I'm going to manually control these guys so that they don't so that they can use tactics and stuff against that fort. These incinerate, I don't think they get fired upon. But uh Fu Ren sounds like a girl's name for some bizarre reason. Fu Ren is a dude though, and a bearded dude. Well all bearded all dudes in this game are bearded, of course, but this unit's pretty much wiped out, and these guys are pretty much not going to hold that looks like Wu is going to take that before I have a chance, but... Well, we'll see. They've got, see again, Sato has, like... Sato has, like, siege weapons and stuff out here attacking. What the hell is going on? Is how you Yuan in a siege tower? Fucking up uh, Sun Quan's facilities. Yeah, the AI can be pretty weird sometimes in how they handle these situations. chance to uh, recruit a little more before I have to attack. Expect a little bit. A little bit of conversation, a little more action. Oh, that's right. I can't launch my attack until um, they finish researching uh, military reform. I won't be able to take advantage of getting all those extra dudes. That transport unit from Chengdu with the towers ever going to get here? Did it already get here and I just lost track? I wonder what the troop limit is on this city, because I gotta be getting pretty close. In this city. Yep, uh, 100,000 troops is the most this city can hold, and I'm almost there. Alright, well, let's end this turn. See what happens next. Oh, there are people out here on the attack. Looks like a uh, shitty spear unit is going to mess with us. Okay. Well, let's keep an eye on them, see if they're going to build facilities or actually try to attack. piece of us. Military reform research complete. Perfect timing. Now Shi Grimoth's war is 94. I'm not sure why that happened, but okay. Oh, because he participated in the research. Thank you, Shi Grimoth, for making us laugh about military reform again. Ah, uh, it's you of Liu Bei's army. Welcome. What business do you have to dis today? I regret to inform you of this, but we'd like to dissolve our alliances of today. I see. In that case, we're enemies from now on. We'll see each other on the battlefield before long. Hey, you don't know the half of it, buddy. Liu Bei's army has ended its alliance with Ma Tang's army. Yeah, you know that massive, massive troop buildup I've been doing right on your border? Yeah. Ooh, hey, they just took Chang on. Wow, that's nice timing. They uh, managed to expand their territory right before they're going to begin to lose it all. So, who are you? You are Yu Fei. You're not going to be able to retake that city. All right, well... There's not a whole lot of troops you got in Liu, Liu Yang there, Cao Cao. I hope you're ready to, uh, to launch a major offensive to coincide with my own. But yeah, it's pretty much time to attack. Let's deal with some domestic stuff first. Well, let's deal with some troop movement issues first. Troops who are already in the field. Tatsao's got some... Oh, they're trying to flee. Well, that's probably a good idea, but it might be a little late. 
Oh, actually... It's not too late at all. I'm not going to be able to catch them in Soon Quan, unless that's a bow unit. Yeah, they're not going to be able to do anything, so that guy just... Yeah, he's, he's managing to escape. Good for you, uh, cowardly Tatsao officer. Let's just stay where you are. Here. And you guys can just continue to do whatever the hell it is you think you're doing. And, uh, let's make sure that we've got all domestic tasks taken care of in this all-important city here. There's nothing more to develop. Oh, there is more to develop, though. JG Mystery, Liu Bei, and Liao Li are going to work on a second uh, barracks. And then I'm going to start recruiting out of this city like a madman. Just watch me construct this. Oh, Liu Bei. Scion of the Han and all that good stuff. I'm totally going to construct shit. Awesome. Alright, let's march. We can afford to get one or two spear units coming out of here. Do I really want to follow the, um... Wow, that's a lot of spears. How many spears did I build up for this place? 35,000. So, like, two spear units of that size is about all I can afford. Let's get, uh, Zhang Fei, who's got an S with spears, and let's get at least one smart guy. Pancakes guy. That's probably why he was there, actually. Oh no, now that I think about it, I was going to give uh, Shi Grimmeth a chance to work together with his sworn brothers. Well, JG Mystery is not a, not a fantastic military officer, and I just put him to work on developing a market. But maybe I can move uh, Vulture Bobo over here to work together with Shi Grimmeth. Mr. Serious, got to give him a chance to be part of this, right? I don't know how long it's going to take him to get there, though. Maybe he can take a cavalry unit or something and try to catch up. No, I, just, I timed this wrong. I should have had all this ready to go before I broke off the alliance, but now I kind of feel like giving Vulture Bobo a chance to get there. Ah, screw it. He can... He can we've got like five Ma Tank cities to take. He can uh, join in the fight eventually. So now, why is each of you in? Pancakes guy, what is your intelligence? Your intelligence is like... 100. So that's why you're there. It's to stop Zheng Fei from falling for any tactics. But what about Doom Screaming? What is she adding to this? I don't really know why she's part of this unit. So, Doom Screaming, no offense, I'm going to remove you. Because I probably want to use you in another unit. I'm going to be launching a lot of... Uh, Let's see what that does. Does that reduce the number of troops? No, it doesn't. Good. Wow. Look at all the food this is going to use, though. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... Can only but add so much food, it looks like. I'm going to have to wait a turn anyway now. Oh yeah, start working on some ships. This is going to take you guys 90 days. Maybe I'll wait till some officers with better pull skill are uh, available. Can I employ somebody with my 30, uh... uh no. 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 
Oh, that's right. I no longer have Chengdu to like throw gold at everybody from. So if I need to reward officers, I have to do it out of one of these cities. And you guys are probably going to need all the food you can get before we launch this attack, too. Luckily, Zhuge Liang can get like a million food per gold. turn we'll be able to launch the mother of all attacks. That'll be great. Miju is Christmas now, 84. Jia Yuan's unit is destroyed Sun Quan's army's market. That's the way to redeem yourself there. Jia Yuan, sure you were captured by Guan Yu, humiliated in a duel. But, um, uh, your pool is now 86, good for you. But you've destroyed a market, so you're pretty much good to go as a true hero of the era. Even though your unit is now confused again. These are spears. I am cavalry, but... I should still be able to win this. Yeah. Got them outnumbered after all. Yeah, Wan has to be worried that Shang Yang's gonna attack, but no, I gotta take out my tank first. I mean, you'll be next, Sun Quan will probably be last, but, um... Let's check and see how long it's gonna take Vulture Boba to get up there. Get up! Get on up! Get on Jitong Sin! I can carry an eating machine! Get up! Get on up! His current orders are 30 days. Yeah, we can't wait that long. You're going to have to take a cavalry unit and catch up there, Vulture Bobo. But uh, let's see what's going on over here for... Oh, that's not the right place. Oh, no, don't tell me this port that I was going to attack with Tao Tao has already fallen to Wu. Well, I mean, it would help if I was on the right section of the map at all. No, it's still held by way. Not this way! Well, mm -hmm. oh, been about half an hour. Really haven't done much yet. Well, I broke off the alliances, had some diplomatic progress was made. But yeah, I think this is the turn where I'm going to launch the invasion, so uh, maybe I'll do that in the next video. Alright, folks, while we go back. Ugh, poor, sorry. Mm. Um, spent all of the gold in those two cities to get even more food so I can march ludicrously huge units on Ma Tang's territories. It's going to be total overkill, but the idea, folks, is once I've got a foothold in Hanjong, I need to keep on, uh, as the kids say, raffle stomping my way up north, not slowing down too, too terribly much, although I'll probably send some officers in to build up Hanjong. Once I've got all those troops and if I have enough food to keep the march going, uh, I need to push on through to Tianxi. And, um, Wu Wei, and I don't know what Ma Tang's capital is at the moment. I don't know where Ma Tang himself is hanging out. Pang Dei is in charge of Chang An, so this is the city. Before I turned on them, this was going to be the focus of their, their campaign. Tong Gate's uh, going to fall any old time now. Han Gu Gate. Wu Gate. I'm not seeing any of the... Jianji Gate, Jiangmen Gate. I'm looking now for like C Shui Gate. Just curious where it is on this map. There's Hulao Gate, and uh, this must be C Shui Gate over here. Oh, who cares? Anyway, Who Gate? Who cares about Who Gate? Uh -huh. Yeah, on the next turn, folks, we're gonna launch the attack. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching.